The Mount Vernon AE includes a state-of-the-art thermostat that controls its functions, and the stove will not operate without it. So yeah, it really helps to have a partner helping you with this because this stuff is heavy. Definitely helped out to have my wife nearby to lend a hand. Now this is obviously where you would put the pellets in if it was still a pellet stove. Um, but because it's not, and because I um, came from Alabama, I decided to throw an old license plate in there. Um, I don't know, just a little charm you might think it's stupid don't really care um this is all just scrap metal that i actually took off the back of the pellet stove from various points um some of the housing for the electronic junk and you now you can see i'm an amateur welder but it's kind of welded me a box um i'll flip it over and show you exactly how i did that and then painted it black so now it's a little accessory tray. You can put your TV remote or book, whatever you want in there. So, so as you can see, well, maybe you can't see. Now you can see. Um, this is weld. So that's what's giving the box uh, its main strength. Um, so I originally just, you know, welded it there. Um, I don't remember why this is such a perfect fit in between. Here's your, um, this sort of hinge, not sure exactly what you would call that, but, um, hinge lever, don't know. This is what causes the, you know, that door you saw, this door here to open and close, that top door. So, you have one on either side, these arms, um, can't remember where this box came from, but it just like completely fit perfectly. I just welded it along here. That gave it enough strength to hold it, but then this top part was quite loose. Um, so you have these kind of four posts. Not sure what they were originally for, something about the cast iron molding process, I'm guessing. So I uh, grinded off the top just to get down below the paint on those front two took a little uh scrap of thin gauge metal same gauge as most of this stuff and um welded it on in so welded it there and then just simple wire um just fastened it on so you know it's not perfect there's still some give there um but nowhere near as much as there was before so when people put stuff in the little accessory tray uh, from the top and um, that's going to keep it from being too loose and wiggly so that's how I did that all right so now we got the lid on I'm just going to go ahead and come around the back and show you what I did this is just a uh, piece of quarter inch um, stained on both sides um, I think it's called poly shades satin uh, black stain and polyurethane in one. So you can see I notched both corners there because they're going to sit down right in that little groove there. Same thing on the other side. And I had to make those little cuts. Pretty basic on either side. 
Let me see if I can get it to focus a little better there. And then obviously I measured so it would meet the sides there. And I mean, I'm gonna attach it, but it's actually pretty happy just like that. But I think I'm gonna probably uh, attach it to this back panel of the box there. Anyways, coming in around back to the front. All right, so I did go in ahead and uh, just throw a self-tapping screw in the back there to hold that uh, board on. Um, got my little handy light here to help us out. Um, so yeah, once that board in the back is nice and secure, um, these bottom board should fit perfectly, just like that. And then we got two sideboards. No need to stain the outside. They actually uh, fit right in this gap here between this and the wall. Just let it lean for a second. I got a solution to that in a minute. Same thing. Other side. We'll get the camera down in there so you can see that a little better. here at ground level. You got your base. These two boards are wedged. So you got these columns over here. Runs all the way down. A little gap in there. Slides in. Same thing on the other side. No need for nails, glue, nothing. Take this. Stained on both sides. It's going to wedge. Okay, so there you can see how I did the top. So back, side, just that little piece of quarter inch. Wedge nicely on the top. Now obviously if you're gonna be doing lots of shenanigans inside this thing, then yeah, I mean, this ain't gonna do it, but for what I'm gonna be using it for, you know, throw some books in here, movies, whatever, kids' toys. I mean, you know. Your book leans up against something, nothing's going anywhere, so yeah, you could add some glue to this or um, whatever. Uh, but this is how I'm going to do it. If it becomes a problem later, I'll fix it, but why do more work if you don't have to? Last thing, we're going to put the little wrought iron doors on, and we'll be done. They're just held on with gravity, so nothing to it. This one does have a magnet, so this one is the other one. There it is, folks. That is how you turn a free pellet stove into a usable bookcase, end table, whatever you want to call it.